Hi everyone, welcome to the Wales on Series. I am Milo, I'm a marine biologist and a guide in Terra Azul. And in this episode, I will answer the question, how do whales and dolphins control their buoyancy? Later in the video, I will give you some tips on how to reduce plastic and preserve the ocean. And check the links in the description below, leave your comments or questions there if you want them to be answered and subscribe to our channel. So whales and dolphins control their buoyancy in three main ways, which is by their blubber, by their bones, and for sperm whales by their spermacity organ. But first we have to understand what is buoyancy. Buoyancy is the upward force applied by a fluid that counters the weight of an object that is immersed in that fluid. When the density of an object is greater than the fluid, the object will sink. When it is lower, it will float. And when it is the same, it will stay submerged within the liquid, which is called neutral buoyancy. To save energy, neutral buoyancy is the best scenario as it allows diving and surfacing with less effort than it would be with a positive and a negative buoyancy. Although marine mammals can be extremely large and heavy, imagine the huge blue whale, they do have a thick fat layer, the blubber, which is positively buoyant due to its low density lipid composition. An extreme example is the North Atlantic right whale, which has a really thick blubber layer and was caught like this by whalers. At once it was killed, its body tended to float at the surface, making it easier to retrieve, and so it was the right whale to be hunted. This same species has been subject to a study suggesting that whales with thinner blubber need more active propulsion effort than those with thicker blubber. Besides blubber, the bone structure changed with the transition from terrestrial to aquatic life. For example, high bone density is a specialization that provides stable buoyancy control and it is advantageous for animals that live in shallow waters. On the contrary, low bone density is suitable for animals that live in deep waters and use a dynamic buoyancy control to go up at the surface to breed like whales and dolphins. In the case of the sperm whale, it has been suggested that the spermacity, which is the organ inside of the head of that whale, containing an oily liquid, might be responsible to control the buoyancy of that whale through variations of the density of the oil. And to end this video, I have one plastic tip for you this time, which is to cut plastic rings and bottle holders before you dispose them so that animals don't get stuck in them. So thank you, I hope it was enjoyable and that you learned something and I will see you in the next episode.